today I will talk about the uh, model of the mind according to Carl Gustav Jung. Uh, I chose this topic, uh, which is rather complex today, because of the new uh, genetic data that seem to validate uh, Jung's concept of, of the model of the mind. Um, namely, according to Freud and Jung, uh, the mind is divided into two areas, the conscious mind and the unconscious mind. The conscious mind is comprised of the things that we are aware of. The unconscious mind is comprised of things that we either forgot or chose to suppress or things that we never knew. Uh, the conscious mind works by something called the secondary processes uh, that are mainly reason and logic. The unconscious mind works by primary processes that are mainly images that possess power to influence the conscious mind. The easiest example of the primary process of thinking is our dreams. Uh, dream images have the power to influence and uh, uh, to influence our attitudes and our choices and our affects in ways that we may or may not be aware of. Why is this model of our mind uh, that was described by Freud and Jung almost a hundred years ago still important today? Well, the answer to that is because the, the, uh, because there are new data um, that, that uh, uh, show that the genetic information uh, present, present in our uh, genetic code uh, influence our attitude and the way we think. Um, for instance, uh, Jung postulated that there are thought patterns that we inherit from, from our ancestors um, that uh, just like we inherit our genes from, from our ancestors. Uh, what are these type of thought patterns or archetypes, according to Jung, we inherit solutions uh, to human problems um, that just, just like we inherit the genetic material. For instance, in the animal kingdom, uh, the birds avoid death from freezing by migrated, migrating to warmer climates. Now, nobody has to, to teach the birds that they need to migrate. They have that in their genetic information. And uh, for instance, humans avoid pain by producing endorphins. Um, in higher intellectual functioning, our choices are many times influenced by solutions that we inherited from our ancestors because they led them to positive outcomes. Uh, if the interest in these topics uh, is, is expressed by the viewers, I could start a series of lectures related to genetics and the unconscious.